Greetings everyone. This video will cover how to set up and use Cloud Connector, part of your smart management subscription, which will help you to integrate Red Hat Insights and Red Hat Satellite. Smart management for Red Hat Enterprise Linux combines the capabilities of Satellite with the simplicity of management from the cloud. Red Hat Satellite helps to patch, provision, report, and control your rail hosts, and paired with Red Hat Insights, Smart Management helps to both identify issues via cloud.redhat.com and remediate them. This video focuses on the setup and use of the Cloud Connector component of Smart Management, which is used to integrate Red Hat Satellite and Red Hat Insights. If you are not familiar with Red Hat Insights, it includes a number of services for security and operational efficiency and is included at no additional cost as part of your Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription. Cloud Connector is available with Satellite 6.7 and above and enables push-button remediation of issues identified by Insights. Configuring Cloud Connector is done through Satellite, creating an API connection over port 443 from Satellite to cloud.redhat.com. Multiple satellites are supported. Once configured, Insights includes an Execute Playbook button that will run playbooks using Ansible Remote Execution from cloud.redhat.com to your satellite, through your capsules, and to the end hosts. In this video, I'll start with the setup, then run a playbook through Insights. To configure Cloud Connector, start by logging into your satellite. We'll define a new user that Cloud Connector will use to perform the remote execution. Go to Administer, then Users, and click Create User. Define a new username, select Authorized By, then provide a password. Click on Organizations, and select the appropriate organization. You may also need to repeat this with Locations. Select the Roles tab, and click Administrator. Since this user will be used to execute playbooks on the hosts and perform actions at all levels, administrator access is required. Click Submit. Now that we have a user, we'll set up Cloud Connector. Go to Hosts, then All Hosts, and select your satellite. In the upper right, select Schedule Remote Job. In the Job Category dropdown, select Ansible Playbook. In the Job Template dropdown, select Configure Cloud Connector. Below, in Satellite underscore User, enter the user that you created for Cloud Connector. In Satellite underscore Password, enter the password for the user. Click Submit. The job will take a few minutes to complete. This video has been sped up, but it took roughly two minutes in my environment. After this completes, Let's move to Insights at cloud.redhat.com slash insights. On the left-hand navigation bar, I'll select Remediation. And in the Remediation section, I already have several playbooks that have been created. Several of these with systems that are connected through satellite. Opening the playbook, notice that there is now an Execute Playbook button that is available next to the Download Playbook button. If I select on the four systems related to this action, I can see that three of my AWS hosts and another host where I have obfuscated the host name. The AWS hosts are connected through my satellite, while the fourth host is directly connected to Insights. I'll close this window, and now I'll click the Execute Playbook button. The Execute Playbook button first summarizes the connected systems. If the systems were connected across multiple satellites, you would see those listed here. As it stands, my three AWS systems are connected through the satellite and the fourth system is not. You can see the ready checkbox next to the three systems connected to the satellite, indicating that Cloud Connector is set up and ready to remediate. The four system will need to be manually remediated by running the playbook outside of satellite 
or by connecting that host to Satellite. Click the Execute Playbook on Three Systems button. You can now see in the playbook summary that the latest activity is listed as running. To get more details, you can click the View button, then select the satellite that's performing the operation. From this view, you can see each system and you can expand them to see the individual playbook runs. Returning to the playbook view, you can see that the latest activity is now listed as succeeded. And there's also an activity tab that will list the history of the playbook run. If you go to the Insights dashboard, you should see a remediation section of the dashboard, which also reports the playbook and the latest activity, which in this case is success. That completes a simple configuration and use for Cloud Connector, part of your smart management subscription which helps to bring Red Hat Insights and Red Hat Satellite together. Thanks for your time.